Yesterday, OpenAI released GPT-4, and if I'm being honest, it was a bit of a bummer. Not because GPT-4 isn't gonna be awesome, it's because they didn't really give us all the features that are gonna make it so cool. Basically, all that we really got yesterday was better GPT. So it's gonna have more data points, it's gonna be slower, but the outputs are gonna be a lot better. But what I was looking for, three things that I was really, really hoping that we would get. Uh, and we will get, and they announced them, but we're not gonna have them right away. Number one, the ability to look inside of a URL. This is gonna allow us to see things in real time. So I can post like a link to uh, one of my own blog posts and I can say, hey, give me uh, some ideas for how I could improve this, just stuff like that. It'll let us get real time information, which is going to dramatically increase all the different things that we can do. So obviously that's sweet. Next, the biggest one, the biggest one was the image recognition, the ability to actually give it visuals and then get information from it. That is gonna be insane. I've been losing sleep thinking of all the different case uses for that. You could do things like show it a graph of your sales and ask it for insights or show it a picture of a rash and ask you, uh, <laughs> you guys have rashes, right? You could show it a picture of your rash and ask it to tell you how gross you are or whatever. But that is gonna be so freaking cool. And then last but not least is the increased input. So we can go up to 25,000 words, just not yet. But that's coming, so that's gonna be really powerful if you have like a huge legal document and you need it summarized. Or if you have like a mortgage and you're like, what if I were to blah, 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 tell me what my options are, stuff like that. Bigger inputs are obviously better. But that is all yet to come. I do think that they felt pressured to release a lot of this early because of what Microsoft was doing the same day and they wanted to basically steal their, their time in the news cycle, which I don't blame them. I might've been wrong about them being uh, tech nerds and, and having no business savvy. Uh, maybe they are more business savvy than I thought, or with all the money they've been getting, they've hired people that are. But that's it, guys. I'm still super excited about GPT-4, and I just can't wait for those big three features to finally be available. We know that they're coming, so that's good, but I just can't wait to actually start using them. All right, see you later.